Quite simply, Ray Dalio is one of the best investors in the world right now with a net worth of a cool $17 billion. He founded Bridgewater Associates, which is now the most successful hedge fund in the world. He is that good that when the central banks themselves need advice with monetary policy or a new product, they call Ray. And ETFs are a great investment vehicle that help lower risk and you can buy a group of companies from one place. Now, if you're brand new to ETFs, I did do a full beginner video, which you can find here. In this video, I'm gonna show you Ray Dalio's favorite ETFs. These are his top five ETFs. And I'm also gonna include some information on what the ETF is, the fees, the dividends and also their performance. Okay, firstly, an important point. How do we know which ones are Ray's favorite ETFs? As there's 5,000 ETFs and Ray's never actually said which ones are his favorite. Good question. Well, we can see where Ray has put his own money. So we can see where Bridgewater Associates have actually invested. So these ETFs are Ray's five biggest Holdings. As always, if you do find anything in this video useful, be sure to drop a like. That would be much appreciated and every like does help. Okay, sit back and relax guys. Here are Ray Dalio's top five ETFs. So just a couple of points before we jump into Ray's top five. The first thing is thank goodness for 13F filings. So what is this? Well, Congress by law have said huge corporations with more than $100 million in assets have to declare where they are investing in. So this is great for us smaller investors because we get to see where the smart money is going and we get to see where people like Ray Dalio are investing their money. Next, of the top seven, two of them were in the S&P 500. So in this video, I'm just gonna include the biggest holding, which is SPY. And the same is true with gold. Two of the funds were actually gold. So all Ray is doing here is spreading his risk. He's not putting all his money into one fund just in case that fund goes down for whatever reason. So I think it's more useful for this video to just include one S&P 500 and one gold fund and then show you the different places where he's putting his money. I think this is much more valuable to you as a viewer. So let's take a look at Ray Dalio's top five ETFs. Coming in at number five, we have the Vanguard Developed Markets ETF, ticker symbol VEA. So what is this? So as you can see, it's mostly developed markets. So this is over half is in Europe. We have a big chunk in the Pacific and then a smaller chunk in North America. These are the top 10 holdings. So some of the companies you may recognize, we've got Nestle, we've got Samsung, we've got Toyota in there, Unilever. So you can see a very diversified group of companies. Ray has around $144 million into this ETF. Now, when it comes to the chart and performance, you can see it's relatively flat. So for the last 10 years, it's not really done much. And this is developed markets. So the fee, as this is a Vanguard fund, we love Vanguard, incredibly low fees. This is 0.05%. It pays a really good dividend of 2.38, so that's very strong. Its year-to-date performance is not too bad considering at 4.62, and its 10-year performance, as you can see, is relatively flat. So this is only returned on average 2.5% a year. Coming in at number four, the iShares China Large Cap ETF and the ticker symbol is FXI. So what is this? So this gives you exposure to the large companies in China. In fact, it's access to the 50 of the largest Chinese companies in one fund. So this gives you a full country exposure in one fund. Top 10 holdings, um, some of these I'm not too familiar with, but you can see we've got some construction, some finance, telecommunication, so very diversified. 
So Ray has around about $190 million in this ETF. Now, when it comes to chart and performance, a couple of big takeaways. The first one was the run up to 2008. You can see we had this huge ski slope jump and it looked like China was gonna take off. But then we had the 2008 crisis. And ever since then, the fund has pretty much just gone sideways. So for the last 10 years, there's not been a lot of growth in China. However, the big question is, what is China going to do over the next 10 years? That is what Ray is betting on. The fee for this fund is also quite high at 0.74%, pays quite a good dividend at 2.54. Its year to date performance is not too bad at 6.28%. However, as we can see, the 10 year is only returning about 1% a year. So relatively flat. Coming in at number three, we have the Vanguard Emerging Markets ETF, ticker VWO. So what is this? So as you can see, this is betting on emerging markets and it's heavily weighted towards China. 45% is in China. Next biggest is Taiwan and India. And then you've got some coverage in Brazil, South Africa, Saudi Arabia, as it starts to tail off. Top 10 holdings, Alibaba is at number one, and they will be doing an IPO in the not too distant future. We've got semiconductors, insurance, construction. So Ray is betting on emerging markets over the next 10 years. He's got approximately $445 million in this fund, and has a very similar performance to China. As you can see, there was a big run up up to 2008 but since the crash again emerging markets have been pretty much flat as it's vanguard it's got a great low fee of 0.1 percent dividend is quite strong at 2.67 percent its year to date is not too bad not great at 2.5 and its 10 year as you can see is relatively flat only returning on average one and a half percent a year but again, Ray is betting on the next 10 years. He thinks that China, India, Taiwan is going to have a lot of growth over the next 10 years. Coming in at number two, it is the Spider Gold Shares ETF, GLD. And quite simply, this fund tracks the price of everyone's favorite metal, gold. So Ray has almost $1 billion in GLD. And if you add the other gold fund he has, he has well over a billion into gold. As you can see from the chart, it had a great bull market run up to about 2012. It's been in a bear market for the last few years, but gold has recently set a new high. And there is strong indication that gold is going into a new bull market. The fee for this fund is not too bad at 0.4%. It doesn't pay a dividend because it's just gold. The year to date performance is excellent. It has outperformed the stock market by quite a lot at 27%. And its 10 year performance because of the bear market is averaging 7% a year. But Ray is betting big on gold. And coming in at number one in first place, it's the Spider S&P 500 ETF, ticker symbol SPY. So what's this? This is the five biggest companies in America. So you're going to recognize a lot of these. We've got Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Google, all the big names, all the big players. And if you didn't know, this is out of the 5,000 ETFs in the world, this is the number one largest ETF in the world. So Ray has over one and a half billion dollars in SPY. And if you add his other S&P 500 fund, he's got over two billion. Now, when it comes to the chart, what a 30 year performance this has had. You can see the big run up to the dot com bubble in the year 2000. You can see the big run up to the 2008 crisis 
And then over the last 10 years, the S&P 500 has had one of the best bull markets in its history. So this has made a lot of money for Ray Dalio. The fee is excellent at 0.09%. Its dividend is pretty much what the S&P is at 1.69%. Year-to-date performance, all things considered with a pandemic at 7.8%, which is really strong. However, its 10-year performance is giving back over 20% a year, which is huge. The question is, what is the S&P going to do over the next 10 years? So there you are guys, those were the top five ETFs of Ray Dalio. It's awesome that we get to see what one of the best investors in the world is betting on over the next 10 years as this is incredibly useful information to know. So here are the big takeaways that I got. Ray really likes the S&P 500 when it comes to America. He's a really big fan of gold right now. Almost 20% of his portfolio is in gold. He really likes emerging markets and the one in particular is China. And he's also covering himself with developed markets as well, as Ray really likes diversification. If you're interested, I did do a full Ray Dalio portfolio and I'll put the link below this video. For now, I just have one favor to ask. If you did find anything in this video useful, be sure to drop a like. That would be much appreciated as every like does help. If you haven't yet subscribed, be sure to click the subscribe button below and join us. I do have some great videos coming up that you don't wanna miss. If you've got any questions or comments, then simply post them below the video. Okay, cheers guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.